What is going on guys? It is Trifecta J here back with episode 3 of my Angels franchise. Today we have a division matchup as we will be taking on the Texas Rangers. Derek Holland will take the mound for the Rangers. Rangers are off to an 11 and I believe 37 losses. We are 17 and 29 about where I expected we would be. But starting off the day it's Craig Gentry in the leadoff spot and he will go down swinging. Hey, look at our starting lineup. Johnny Giovatella has played very well so far this year, hitting 353, which is second in the AL. Tyler Skaggs will take the mound for us. Not a very good win loss so far, 0 and 5, but not a bad ERA under 4, so not obviously great, but definitely not warranting an 0 and 5 start. That definitely shows you the uh, usefulness that the win loss stat really has for pitchers, but that's a single to open up the inning. So bottom of the first, no outs, and Ian Desmond will take off and slide in safely into second. So a man on second with no outs. Now a 1-2 count, and going down on the 12-6 curveball, a perfect pitch. And so now one out on the inning. Desmond still at second. Now it's Adrian Beltre, and a good call from the ump, at least for us. Beltre, of course, not happy with it, and now two outs, still the man on second. And that ball is hit right to Albert Pujols at first, so we will get out of the inning with no damage done. Coming to today's game, our offense is hitting around 252, which is uh, below league average, I do believe. And our ERA is around 389, so also not very good. But it's a leadoff single for Albert Pujols. So a 3-1 count, and that ball is hit into center field by CJ Chrome, And it will get down, but Pujols not very fast, so he's not able to advance any further. And that ball was thrown in quickly. Now it's Yunel Escobar. He hits that one hard over the shortstop's glove. And it's going into deep left center field. One run will score. And holding the man at third base. So it's now men on second and third. As that ball is hit to the shortstop. And he bobbles it and throws it for the out. Oh no, he came off the bag. So Giovanni Soto is safe. And now Keg Gentry is back up and it's two to nothing. That ball is hit to the second baseman. And Prince Fielder has it for the final out of the inning, so we are up two to nothing. Now Tyler Skaggs on the mound still, and a great 12-6 curveball for the strikeout. It's now a full count for Prince Fielder. The pitch is away, and another perfect pitch, and back-to-back -back strikeouts for Tyler Skaggs. We'll move to the top of the third, Johnny Giovatella in, as he will hit that one, and it goes down the line into right field, so a single for the hot hitting second baseman. With how well he's played, he's now definitely moved into a guy that I'm thinking I'm gonna look to move at the trade deadline, as I feel like he can definitely bring some good value with as well as he's playing. Now that ball is hit down the left line, and it's in the left field, so men on the corners. And it's a steal attempt, and in safely is Mike Trout. So now, two runners in scoring position, a full count, no outs for Albert Pujols. He lines that one into left field and throwing it home. Mike Trout rounds third and slides in safe. So it's now a four to nothing ball game. We'll go to the bottom of the third, one out, two, two count. And Yurks and Profar will lob that one right over the shortstop's head into left field for a one out single. Now a full count is this one will go to Ian Desmond who's up for the second time today and he goes down on the four seam fastball on the outer part of the plate. A 3-2 full count with two outs and two men on base. It's Tyler Skaggs, an easy routine throw and it goes to CJ Crum and that will get us out of the inning evading any trouble. Now that ball is absolutely crushed by Cole Calhoun into the upper deck of right field and Luke Jackson will out into the game in the fourth inning. So he's pitched pretty well so far, a 147 ERA in 11 games as we will move ahead to the top of the fifth. It's now a 5-0 ball game and Mike Trout goes down swinging on the curveball. That was a beautiful pitch. Now in the bottom of the fifth, a full count with two outs and Profar goes down swinging and this is another game I thought I had adjusted the difficulty to make it a little tougher, but I don't think I did quite a good of a job. But I definitely think the next game that I play will be much better. But that ball the right fielder can't get to. So now Andrelton Simmons will round second and head to third. And he will get in there safely. A stand-up triple. As Andrelton Simmons now on a 10-game hitting streak. That's awesome to see. Obviously not known as much of an offensive player. But if he could get his offense going, that would be awesome. As Andrelton Simmons will score on that. 
but the third out negates the run. So bottom of the sixth, 82 pitches so far from Tyler Skaggs. He has pitched very well, and there is another strikeout. Ian Desmond goes down swinging once again. And at the bottom of the sixth, the very next batter, a 1-2 count for Adrian Beltre. And he crushes that one. One went to right field, and that one will go to left field. That's a long fly ball, and Adrian Beltre has his seventh home run on the year. It's now a 5-1 ball game as Tyler Skaggs is probably nearing the end of this start, especially now another base hit, so back-to-back -back hits on Tyler Skaggs. Deuces are wild with a man on first, and it's grounded to Andrewton Simmons at shortstop. He takes it nonchalantly and almost beating out the throw. Probably need to work a little quicker on that one, but so far we have played very well. As now Matt Bush is in the game, the former number one overall pick who has spent some time in jail, has made his way back to the major leagues. Now we'll move to our new pitcher, Jose Alvarez, the left-hander. He has struggled so far this year, a 5.59 ERA. He has not played very well, but has 16 strikeouts. And to the bottom of the seventh, it's Prince Fielder up. He hits that one into center field, and coming on is Mike Trout, who comes away with the catch. A beautifully played defensive play there. Now, Sinsu Chu is up, and Alvarez not happy with that. As a man on first full count, as that ball is skied high into center field, Mike Trout will track it. He's under it and has it, and the runner will be forced to return to second, not able to tag up. So two outs, a 1-2 count at the bottom of the seventh for Yerkes and Profar. And he goes down looking. Another strikeout on the day for this Angels pitching staff. Tom Wilhelmsum will come in an 8.27 ERA so far in 15 appearances. And to the top of the eighth. And that ball is crushed once again. It's CJ Chrome. He hits it not into the upper deck. But that's a sky high ball. And it's a home run. It's now a 6-1 ball game. So we're into the bottom of the eighth as Joe Smith will come in. So far appeared in 13th games. This will be his 14th and has a 435 ERA. Our bullpen has really struggled so far this year, but there's a beautiful pitch to Ian Desmond. That's his third strikeout. That's been a reason for our struggle so far this year as we are 17 and 29. But a lot of our pitching staff has very good ERAs. And the throw to second, it's not in time, barely beating it out. I would challenge it and the call would stand. Now that one's hit deep by Adrian Beltre. Mike Trout will go back. He has it. He'll fire it in quickly. And the runner will be forced to return to first base. Now two outs and going down swinging. It's Mitch Moreland. And that's a beautiful way to get out of the jam after the single by the Rangers. So Johnny Givatella, he hits that one. It's along the line and it is caught. And that's the final out of the top of the ninth. So we will head into the bottom of the ninth with a five-run lead. Houston Street makes his 18th appearance, a 5-5-1 ERA. He's got to get that down because we're probably wanting to trade him at the trade deadline because, of course, relievers are very useless on our rebuilding team. Houston Street gets him swinging a beautiful pitch. Bottom of the ninth, a man on first to double play would end it, but Sinsu Chu goes down looking as our pitching staff today has done an amazing job with the strikeouts. Final at bat, and he goes down swinging. Houston Street strikes out the side in the bottom of the ninth, and we are victorious once again. That's our 18th win on the season. Like I said earlier, though, the difficulty was a little too low, so that explains the lopsided thing. But also, the Rangers are off to a very poor start in this. Of course, they are playing very well in real life. But I hope you did enjoy today's game. A final look at the stats from today's game. 10 strikeouts for Tyler Skaggs. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments on who you think we should be targeting in the draft and trading at the trade deadline and what sort of prospects we should be looking for. I will see you for the next episode because I'm...